Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land Plays Rim World. Uh, what are my thoughts for this episode? Well, probably should take care of this, like, broken shit. Uh, yeah, particularly our turret that's so close to death. My turret! In fact, why do I, now that I think about it, shouldn't repairing be a higher priority for construction, or then construction for everybody? Like, that seems fairly conceivable as a good way to keep, like, our society in check. So let's start. Basic repairs is important. Um, our colony getting back to some sort of baseline. Um, first get the conduit, then get the cooler. Um, getting back to some kind of baseline uh, of research completion is basically where I want to be at. So uh, we're, we're still very inefficient, but I think we're more efficient than we used to be. And we can actually... Well, let me, let me check my health. Yeah, we're, we should be fine. Um, I think we should actually divide our freezer into two sections. So, first, let me stretch this out. Zone, um, stockpile zone. We'll first make the whole thing the freezer. Then, I actually want to make this not the freezer. I want to make this exclusively for meals. So, let's, um, let's delete this zone. He threw it here. Hopefully, the raw ingredients will move over to the other side. This is going to be a different stockpile zone. Okay, well, I'll tell you what. We're going to delete the zone. And even losing one row is going to be more valuable for us here when it comes to cooking quickly. We're going to make that like that. And this is going to be stockpile zone 7, which I'll probably rename. Um, and we're going to call this cooked food. And then in here, we're only going to allow meals. Yeah, that's right. No no chocolate, no hay, no kibble, no pemmican, okay? Only cooked meals of any form. And then in here, we're going to disallow meals. And the idea is that we'll, we'll make this a critical stockpile. Even though, again, when everything's a critical, nothing's a critical. But um, hopefully it should be easy for someone who prioritizes hauling. Um, like my buddy Danny G here, uh, or Sinvicta for that matter, who's doing a good job of cleaning, but doesn't need to clean right now, um, to haul this stuff from side to side. Because you're really not moving it very far. But the idea is, in fact, I'm actually going to have you as a number one on hauling right now, Sinvicta. Actually, it's Tomo's job, but Tomo's asleep. So yeah, for now, you're going to be a number one on hauling, and you're just going to move this shit to the side. You're going to pick up potatoes, you're going to move them from side to side. That's it. We'll make these both critical stockpiles, in case they weren't already. So that they get number one priority within, um, within stockpiles. Well, you know what? I'm going to let you do your job. But I think that this will impre increase the efficiency with which we're able to create meals. The problem is, now we're creating meals and what's happening to them. We're just cooking them and then they're, then they're gone. We're just, we're just throwing meat into the grinder, I think. Well, apparently it exists somewhere, at least. Maybe it's just getting stacked down at our feet. Uh, yeah, Tomo's moving shit over to the side. That's what we want to see. I mean, of course we want these rocks out of here as well. But our cooking is not going as fast as I'd like. We can at least make it faster. Um, this situation is still imperfect, by the way. In case that's not clear. Somebody should prioritize doing this. Princess, you any good at this? Or have we already taken both of its arms? Uh, left arm. Right blade removed. Left blade apparently still exists. What about you, Tomo? Yeah, take, take its left blade out, man. Use the D-pad, dude. Okay, Princess, what are you doing? Hauling? Uh, hauling's good. I'm not going to tell you not to haul. We can have Dan handle that. Okay, the roofing is being done. Dude, this is awesome. Again, the I hope that it will never come back. Like, I hope we'll never have fallout again. But if we do, at least we can get where we need to go. We should have done this earlier. It would have taken less than half an episode. But it's the first time you ever deal with, or I've ever dealt with fallout. So I was, uh, I was confused. At first I was afraid. I was petrified. We have an actual prison as well. Um, which is amazing. So, Mads, what are you doing? Visiting grave. That's fine. Nothing wrong with that. Um, 
I would like this stuff to get hauled, but I guess it's a secondary priority. You're hauling granite to this stockpile. This stockpile is, this is like normal. Don't sweat that too much. This one is also normal, okay. Uh, I'm just, I'm surprised. I mean, you're still, you're hauling steel. That's valuable. Going for a walk, also okay. All right, we should actually think about uh, improvements. One thing is, uh, Princess, instead of doing that, I gotta change your name because I don't even feel comfortable selling it or uh, saying it, but um, repair. You will never repair. Okay, so two people are awake, three people are awake, one will never repair. Mathis is gonna repair this geothermal vent when he gets a chance. Building roof. I'm gonna let you finish building the roof, honestly. And we'll, we'll probably get this prison or try to get this prison set up. Even though it's the fourth of winter, I don't think it would kill me to get my growing zone set up properly. Um, okay, so, man, let's just repair this. I don't like seeing the cracks in the foundation here. It's sort of inefficient for us to haul our granite down here and our marble down here when we, we seem like we don't need to. But it's important, I think. Because this will help us when we want to make stone for more buildings. We'll be able to keep this going. Um, everybody's got clothes. Dan has not been tailoring much. I guess this counts as a construction order. So that takes precedent. Are we going to give Mathis two blades? I don't think so. Dan is cold. He's too cold. Why don't you tailor, buddy? What's the problem? You don't have enough leather? Tailor, two. Cra uh, constructing is a two for Dan. Constructing is now a three. He should default to smithing or tailoring. I don't think we have smithing orders, so we should be tailoring. We are, uh, we need to finish 30 simple meals and 10 lavish meals, or 10 fine meals. No, it's 40-20, okay. So, I mean, I, re I recognize, by the way, that the problem now is that we have to walk slightly further to get our ingredients, as opposed to walking slightly further to deposit our meals. Maybe that was a waste of time, but it's gonna make it faster for our colonists to grab these meals over here, and hopefully they'll move these meal they'll eat these meals inside of a recreation room, which is also a laboratory. Probably need a wall in between those, with a door, like here or something. Uh, Tomo's room needs, needs to be fixed as well. So let's start by just reinstalling this lamp over here. And then we can build a wall that goes like that. And then we still have some space with which to access our geothermal vent if it lights on fire, which it conceivably could. Dan, what are you doing? He's gonna eat a meal, and then I wanna see what he's up to. Making parka. Wonderful. He needs warm clothes, so this is good. Winter's like half over, and I think we're doing pretty well right now. I would like Sinvicta to move more ingredients over, even though it's my own pet project. What are you doing now? Like, they're they're all hauling granite instead. And that's, I mean, it's not bad, but this is such a quick job. It just seems like, uh, you know, get those potatoes over there as soon as possible. Get the corn over. Put the meals in the right spot. Like, you, you really should get this shit out of the middle as well. Heater breakdown. Uh, this, this should be repaired. Princess will never repair. Mathis will, though. Let him consume the fine meal first. Once our cooking bill is done, we will accomplish, or start to accomplish our higher order goal of actually having some research done uh, in this episode. Which is really, I think that's a sign of a semi, like, properly functioning colony. We probably don't need to continue hauling this, but I want to let the process reach its logical conclusion. That's, that's my dream here. You guys are doing a great job right now. Uh, one thing we also need to do is reestablish our growing zones. And I think, like, honestly, over here makes sense. Although, it also makes sense to put them next to the stockpile. Um, so that the hauling is much easier. In fact, like, I'm, I'm attached to that idea. They might look horrendous. But near the stockpile seems sensible to me. And the way I've structured my colony is now, you know, farcical, but... Dan is pissed. Feeling terrible, hungry, in a little pain. My friend died, my lover died. Mad animal. A local Ibex doe has gone mad. There's no way into our colony here, so, you know, be as mad as you want to be. Does not bother me. Minor break risk. Much better. Okay, is this going? Like, are, are you doing stuff? Mathis is, 
Mathis is cooking. He's actually cooking faster than I cook, which is lovely. We're making some beer. I don't think we're, we're doing the beer setup properly. It's taking too long. You're making parkas. You're drawing rulers. This is sensible. Fix this heater, because Dan's going to be real freaking cold in here. No wonder his mood got bad. Sam Victor. Repair these broken components. Take these broken wings and learn to fly again. Okay, I'm stopping. But um, we're, we're running low on components. This gives me another idea. Why don't we have Simvicta uh, cut the shit out of the Scyther? And even if it fails, the Scyther can then be shut off and we, we should be able to disassemble it. He failed in a minor way. What does that mean? We cut off its left middle finger! Simvicta, I believe in you, buddy. This is, this is an important job. Still got lots of food, although we have used like a thousand since the last time I looked. No, 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 don't drop that Scyther. Don't copy that floppy. This thing needs to be disassembled. So, Sinvicta failed catastrophically. Who's awake? Dan's awake. He's making parkas. No, you should not. You're drafted, son. Can you not disassemble it? Like, is the bill... Disassemble me. Okay, you know what? You're not. Go go do what you were gonna do. Put it over there. Maybe it'll work its way back into the production chain. If not, because I've taken too many of its parts, that's fine. But I thought it would be an easy way to get some free components. So, our electricity is doing fine. Another thing that I was considering is, um... Ooh, a party. Everyone who goes to a party will gain joy and social energy and a lasting positive mood boost. And knowing my uh, colonists here, they're probably gonna end up fucking each other too and that's all right you know any extra source of joy in a storm that's what I've always said um, everybody grab a grab a nice 7 a.m. beer and hang out in our 21 degrees Celsius nice balmy laboratory actually it's a work party yeah what crazy parties I'm, I'm, I'm having a good time right now colony you know this isn't the dream team for the colony but it's going okay Dan and Mathis ooh, rebuffed Socially speaking, could be better. I attempted to woo Mathis. Mathis rejected the advance. Are any of our colonists still like in a relationship? My friend died. Wants to sleep with Mathis. All right, Tomo and Mathis now share a bed. Um, so Dan, I'm sorry, this is not yours anymore. This is Tomo's, and this is Mathis. And Dan, you can now take Mathis's old bedroom, and you can get like a boom rat or something. We got a we got an animal bed there. Not just any animal bed. It's a turkey leather animal bed. You ever party so hard you forget to eat? Just happened to Mathis right now. That guy knows how to throw down. NL started a social fight with Tomo. NL and Tomo are no longer social fighting and the party is finished. I'm sorry, buddy. That I, It said I started it. And even though sometimes, you know, you can deserve things to start it. Or you can deserve uh, the reason for a fight, I, I believe. Mad animals turkeys. Holy shit. Get ready, boys. I think we're about to have a nice, uh, added surplus of leather pretty soon. If you want a surplus of leather, oh, oh, oh. Get ready for the turkey apocalypse and apocalypse. I mean, two mad animals? That's not that bad. I can deal with two angry turkeys. Again, free leather as well. Feel like our supply chain's almost set up properly here. Um, hopefully, you know, no colonists need treatment. No colonists are in like extreme amounts of pain. We're fairly, I think we're like two days away from completing our medical bills properly here. Or not medical, sorry, our, our culinary bills properly here. And the idea is that, you know, once these are done, um, we can get to work on higher order concerns like research. Tomo Defector is fully healed, more like Tomo Deflector, the way he was blocking those lefts and rights. Got 35, we need four more simple mo simple meals. Um, we do, it would be nice to have like a secondary door here. In fact, I think we should get that done. Marble blocks. Just minor things. Um, I think also, how much steel do we have in reserve right now? 120? 
Um, let's mine out a little bit more. It's still it's minus five in here, so our our cooler's definitely doing its job. Um, I'd like to build one more turret per section. That's another, uh, what's 6 times 35? Quick, uh, 100, uh, 210 steel. Okay, so we got 210 extra steel coming up. I'd like one more turret here. I'd like one more turret in here. I noticed that, you know, the fact that we can't reliably kill a turkey before it gets to us is bad. We could probably change that with architecture, but I'd also like to, you know, just throw more guns at my problem and see if it solves it. We, ha we have disassembled the mechanoid, which is great, because we can actually probably use plast steel to build one turret now. I think you need 175. Ah, we might not have quite enough. A lot of the plasteel has exploded, so... Um, we're like 15 minutes into this video, and I don't think I've made a save. So I'm gonna real save 065 and just say, you know, it's nice. It's been a nice time recently. Make hay while the sun's up. We gotta make five meals. I'd really like to see, um... Five... By the way, if you notice, people are eating at tables again. I'd really like to see me producing more than, like, 15 meals a day. That way I could actually uh, get some research done. But we're very slow now. We're inefficient. We need like a power armor suit or some cybernetic legs or something. Uh, I'm going to continue to issue like a la carte mining orders here. Because I want to, effectively. Okay, but then we make beer. So after we finish, uh, after we finish uh, making food we make beer and then we make medicine and our medicine order is going to take us a long time we got 30 medicine to make but you know what i think that's important i do think that's something we need to be focusing on um this even if it doesn't save us any time this looks a lot cleaner and it just makes more sense as a as a kind of organization i think um so our corn is getting so grown and in fact our potatoes are ready to harvest i've lost some crops here and i'll admit that i've lost some crops um by allowing mathis to focus maybe a little too much on mining so, Mathis, starting today, you're growing. We did have a surplus of food, but, you know, we're always going to need more. We're always going to want more. What's Mathis doing? Where did I send him over here? He's still mining a little bit. That's fine. We, we always want to put more food in our freezer. And you are going to construct the door, which I think is fine. Even if we lose some more potatoes, I mean, honestly, lesson learned. Dan Giesling, not in a great mood. My lover died. He's not in a bad spot, though. Could be worse. At least it's warm in here. And he's starting to cut stone, which is important. We do need that stone cut. Um, somebody else, ideally, should focus on... Uh, should focus on making medicine as well. I, I don't know. What are you, you... I'm an idiot. Don't ever... Don't speak to me, okay? I made a terrible mistake there. What was my terrible mistake? I had Mathis prioritize killing an animal. Uh, I thought he had a gun, instead he had frag grenades. So I threw a frag grenade and blew up the turret that I prioritized making. And now, just to make it even better, a warg is going to eat uh, the animal. Again, sometimes I think it's important to, uh, I think it's important to accept your own failures in order to treat them as learning lessons. So we're gonna rebuild that turret. Um, we have uh, 400 steel in reserve. While you're building that turret, why don't you do me a favor and just build another turret? Solar flare. So all of our electronics are going to be broken for a while. Uh, not a catastrophe. If it's going to actually... I don't love that it's 8 degrees Celsius outside because... Uh, this actually is going to not be a catastrophe, but we're at the risk of a lot of food spoiling thanks to the solar flare. Plus, we're fairly defenseless during this and we can't cook. We can't make medicine, I think, but... Um, there's not much we can do about it. If food spoils, it spoils. You know, we're not operating a colony that's, like, at maintenance right now. Wanderer joins. A villager named Braddock has arrived. She is a paramedic. Um, she is capable of getting inside of our colony. Great medicine stats, but she is incapable of hauling and cleaning, which I think is fine. Uh, I know I'm saying things are fine. Things are fine, things are good. But honestly, this episode, things things have been fine and things have been good. So we're gonna prioritize. Princess, you don't get a name yet. You haven't proved yourself in the in the heat of battle yet, so you don't get a name. Um, you're gonna be one of our top doctors. And you know what? Everybody else, I'm just gonna remove because it's gonna look cleaner. I know like two episodes again ago I said like the opposite, but um, bed rest, always important. Flicking switches, always important. Will you be a warden? Yes. And I'll prioritize it. Will you handle animals? I think from time to time. But you know what? We've already got animal handlers. No animals are getting handled. I'm not taming anything. So, um, 
I'm, I'm not gonna prioritize it. We'll have Princess be our only animal handler for now. Cooking. You like it? And it's a it's something we need done every day. Maybe I'll leave you at a three for now. Hunting, doesn't matter. Construction, I do think everybody gets a construction and repair order just because so, it's easier to assign them this way. Growing, you know what? Congrats. You're a two in growing right now. You're also going to be a two in art. When your growing's done, you can go do some art. For research, not particularly skilled. Two, two, two. That's fine. I think this is good. Um, because hopefully my idea is that you handling some of the growing, even though Mathis is much better at it, um, much better at it, but you handling the, some of the grunt work, hopefully will create a situation in which um, Mathis can get some more other work done. But you don't get a name yet. Princess's bedroom, bedroom. Tomo doesn't have a bedroom. Braddock, this should be your bedroom now. Bedroom, bedroom. We have a lot of empty bedrooms. You know what? Choose your bedroom. That's the way we go. That's the way we function at this colony. Uh, we should save as well. Braddock. Uh, excuse me? Are you forgetting something? Real save, 066. Braddock. Dope. Lovely. Fantastic. Exquisite. Uh, we're just worried about food spoilage. It's one degree inside. The solar flare is ending. Power's gonna come back on. We got nothing to worry about. If your shit's gonna spoil by being at one degree Celsius for six hours, you know, you were, you were close to the abyss to begin with. Okay, sewing's getting done. And I love this because we actually have trees. Like... There are some trees that I could actually potentially cut. <laughs> Coming up soon, anyway. Braddock has a minor break risk in darkness, ugly environment. Well, you know, you just moved here, so maybe go fudge yourself. Um, meals, we need to cook six nice meals. Braddock chose a good room. Can't be mad. 20 degrees, 20, 17 degrees. Totally fine. Everything's totally fine here. Um, okay, let's talk about grow zones. Actually, first, how much wood we got? 50. Not very much. 166 marble. These prisoners don't know how good they got it, man. I'm going to give them a marble floor. Uh, and we're going to actually get this prison done. We don't, we can't make, oh, there's marble tiles right there. Okay. So that's going to cost us uh, a little less than 9 times 7. Oh, it just tells us 120 marble. Okay. It was 9 times 7 times 4, technically, but then not all the spaces needed it. You get the idea. Um, so this prison is going to be, like, nearly good to go. It needs beds, and it's it's a shithole. Like, it's so, it's so small. But, uh, could be worse. We need to plan our grow zones. We need cloth, because cloth helps us make medicine. Unfortunately, I have no idea how to make neutroamine, so we should maybe trade for that uh, whenever we get the chance, or make sure that we take it from raiders, at least. I also, did I not set up another, yeah, there's another setup right there. Hopefully our power situation is still good. Braddock's doing some growing, which is fantastic. Mathis is visiting a grave. Whose grave is that? Are you visiting... Borba the Digger? Or Momo, probably Momo the Taxonomist. Remember, we all came to the colony together. Somehow me and Mathis are still there, despite having actually died several times. We're just the ones that happen to, you know, benefit from the safe scumming. I actually like this. I like that Dan is hauling steel. Mathis is going to construct marble floors. You know, I got to be honest, it looks like a prison. I've noticed, by the way, that um, I think things are going their best in RimWorld when no one's trying to kill me. No one meaning either the creator of the game, the dynamic storyteller, or, you know, literal in-game AI raiders that are trying to blow us up. It's very easy, and this wasn't always the case. But at a certain point in RimWorld, I have reached a level of adequacy where if nothing, uh, like, interrupts my environment, I can run a colony. And that feels good. It is literally like D-, minus. you passed the class, you fulfilled, like, the basic requirements. But it's a start. We weren't always there. You know, when I first started playing RimWorld, it was like, even if raiders didn't come, I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. I can't feed my colonists in the winter. We've got a colony that functions when nobody sets us into nightmare mode. I'm not patting myself on the back too hard, but it's a start. And we've accomplished a few small projects, at least. We finished our prison uh, as soon as we can get beds, at least, which is probably uh, the next order I'm going to issue here, like, we, we need some trees, basically, so as much as this is inefficient, I would like you to 
plants cut and bring the wood back, please. Must designate. None of these none of these trees are healthy enough yet because. Well, I mean, remember the poison ship like took took it all down. Um, can we make beds out of granites? Do we need any wood? I guess is what I'm getting at. Um, granites. 35 granite blocks. Dope. Okay. It is now like a true prison. 35, 35, 35. That's 105. And then... We can make like one marble bed. And it's a start. People have had some issues with this, uh, this prison design, by the way. They've been like, you know, your colonists or your prisoners are going to hate this area. And they're, they're never going to join you because they're going to be tougher to recruit. I understand. Um, it's, it's not really about recruitment right now. It's about capacity. Which might be backwards reasoning, but it is the way I feel about it right now. Um, still not built, huh? Again, might be backwards reasoning, but it's how I feel about it right now. No more steel over here. So that is actually a turbo bummer, because that was an easy opportunity for us to get uh, more steel. But that's fine. We've expanded our freezer and made our freezer nicer. And, uh, I don't know, things are looking good now. I think things are looking better, at least. But we we would like to have more readily available steel. I don't want to have to come down here to grab steel all the time. Although, actually, if we... Again, it takes forever, but... If we deconstruct this, we should get, like, five steel per sandbag. So we can stretch it a little further. We also can make steel from slag, which is something that we did in our earlier RimWorld colony, but haven't had, uh, haven't had a chance, and maybe haven't had too much of a desire to do lately. I do want to point out, look at Mathis's mood. Attended party. This, this is like Mathis in real life, his dream world. How do you get Mathis to a 99 mood? He had, invite him to a party, give, just give him a bionic hand or something, no big deal. He doesn't have great expectations. He's pretty up on Tomo right now. Might have had some loving. He's feeling good in general, and mouth died. He's a little hungry. Oh, my environment's ugly. But he's, like, happier than he's ever been. Tomo's pretty stoked, too. Got some loving 17! It's like Mathis... Mathis got 10 points worth of loving. Tomo got 17. Congrats, Mathis. You know what you're doing between the sheets. What are you doing over here? Oh, you're grabbing the pistol. Sensible. Oh, you know what? Free steel. Free steel right there. And actually, we should mine that single node. Uh, actually, well, we should mine all this out first. It's way easier to grab this stuff. And we need this for turrets. I'd really like to have three or four turrets per area first. Dan, on the other hand, not super happy. Cold, in a little pain. Um, why is he not making parkas? Are we out of leathers? Maybe we don't have a lot of leather from one animal. That could be part of the problem. 35 steel from each one of these. I would like you to prioritize this turret. You just need 60-something steel. Nothing serious. And honestly, cleaning is not getting prioritized. What's up with that? Oh, because Invicta... Right, I made him a big-time hauler. Now he needs, a, need to, needs to be a big-time uh, cleaner as well. No wonder we got hideous environment stuff going on. And we still need to handle grow zones. I agree. I do think defense is perhaps a little more pressing. Okay, mine that compacted machinery. Gives you a lot of good stuff as well. A little far away from home, admittedly. Gives you some components. Decon okay, I know you want to deconstruct the sandbags, but I'd really like it if you built this turret first. Just so we can get it hooked up, see how our power looks, and make sure that our colony's still good to go. It might seem like two episodes where not a lot has happened. Honestly, I would really disagree. Can we also grab, um, no, we can't grab your stuff. Okay, probably blew them off. Um, I also like, um, well, let's talk about the little things we've done. First off, Dan's binging on food. Okay, not a, not a big problem. We got 4,800 food. Live your life. Probably going to take up the rest of my day making meals for it, but life goes on. Um, we are looking at the grave of Stace the escapee. I can't remember. She might have been someone that we, oh, wait, are we looking at the grave of Ruka the bodyguard? That's probably right. Um... Minor break risk on Braddock. Ugly environment. That's right. Simvicta's gonna spend the next, uh... Next 
well, rest of his life cleaning here, so that's good. I'm gonna build a turret there quickly. It's not quite hooked up to power. It is hooked up to power, just give it a sec. Rome wasn't built in a day. It's not hooked up to power. It's not hooked up to power. Power, conduit. Okay, I'll tell you what. Oh, you know what? Because it's not hooked up to the grid in general. We're gonna connect these all independently because I don't trust myself anymore. Um, we got some sleepy, sleepy folks. Simictus cleaning dirt. Although I do find this relevant, I would also like you to build this quickly. Because I do want to put down the other conduit as soon as possible. We have 866 steel in storage, which is dope as well. Um, I mean, I get what you're doing here, but I'd also like you to do that. I don't really mind that our boomerang is eating our meals. Like, meals have been fine for us lately. Okay, I know you're cleaning some Victor, that's important, but I also need you to make this research conduit. You might think, like, oh, what a bad friend. You just make Sin Victor clean up his mess in the game. It's not my intention to make, uh, to make Sin Victor look like that's, like, he's just, you know, sanitation staff. And also, I don't think that's something to be looked down upon. I think that maybe you've revealed your true self in what you have told me here. But I also want to point out Sin Victor is our boy, you know, in the cut. When we run into trouble, he's got an eight shooting stat, and um, to be honest with you, we need it. Now I don't trust him to take apart a robot. What's his uh, construction skill like? It's bad. It's a two. So we're gonna wait till Mathis wakes up, and then we're gonna have him construct this turret, and then I'm gonna end the episode. So we're gonna go like you know a couple minutes long here, but it's it's for a good cause. I really think like I mean let's let's count the things we've done. Our prison is starting to look functional. Granite blocks. Granite beds. Yeah, our prison is, is starting to look functional. We should get him. We should get power. Basically, that's that's a big thing, um, and we should probably construct these. I can't believe they're not constructed, actually. Um, but apart from that, man, Civic is so fast. Uh, apart from that, we've added one turret to each of our, or we're about to have finished adding one turret into each of our uh, kill boxes here. The kill boxes still suck, but we have added a turret. We've made some clothes. I think we got some parkas going on here. Um, we've really optimized, or at least filled in, our stone cutting stockpile. Our freezer has been uh, optimized as well. It might not increase our cooking, but it is removing a lot of the, like, eight without a table debuffs. Uh, what still has to be worked on? Steel is not stored in efficient places. Sinvicta probably has asthma. Yeah. Um, steel is not stored in efficient places, and that takes a while. Um, we do need more medicine. We're not getting more medicine done quickly enough because I am... Uh, I'm not crafting well because of the fact that I'm sleeping, and then we're eating a lot of meals, and the meals are not being produced as fast as they should be but I think for now we can save and we can just call this one like you know it doesn't matter basically it doesn't matter um, it's been two episodes of things being really really good I'm stoked we also got our fallout uh, tunnel done here which doesn't save us in the event of you know complete disaster but on the other hand we should roof like here as well and probably here um, it doesn't save us in the event of complete disaster but it does protect us specifically from uh, problems with Fallout. So let's... Um, what am I doing here? Expand roof area. There we go. Just make it so that you can get into the hospital. Or that's that's not a hospital. That's just our bonus room here. Um, and then we also want to make it so you can get into the hospital, which is like that. Okay, that's fine. And then we shouldn't have any problems there. Uh, next episode, we should establish our growing zones. We should fix this clusterfuck right here. Maybe we should build more turrets. But for now, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.